Um, growing up, I knew one another person. Hip hop. Hip hop. Yeah, hip like hip hop. Why now you you were looking at to? Uh, personally, I wasn't the kind of the type of person who look who looks up to someone or want to be like the next man. So mm. I never had a role model on myself with role model. Oh, yeah. So I look up to myself. The man in the mirror. You look at yourself. Yeah. I look up in the morning and look at look at myself in the mirror if I've changed or not. That's what keeps me. What are your intentions behind music? What do you intend why do you intend to do music? There are so many jobs of which a young man like you, Albert yeah, But you decided to do music. Why? Uh, I think it's because I have passion for music mm. and more addicted to music. I think I have the talent. I have a very, very good talent when it comes to music and rapping. So that's why I switched from going for like a regular job like being a lawyer, doctor to switching to entertainment side, being a musician. Mm. Yeah. Aside you wanting to be a musician, did your parents ever like the idea of you trying to be a musician? No, they never, because I'm not sure that any parents will ever want their kids to be involved with music. So, but because they think that... Do you think there is this kind of... Yeah, the thing is that back in the days, you know, we didn't really have enough people doing music. And I came on it. They saw lawyers, uh, teachers, and doctors, and then all that. If you, if you, okay, so you know, it's very, very hard for your parents or your guardians to accept the kind of job or the kind of career you want to switch in. So it wasn't really, really easy with, with the decision that I made, but I have to stand on my ground for my parents to know there is a kind of work or the kind of career I want to. Build on so, so right now they, they have accepted. Oh yeah, 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 they accepted. Oh, I meet you, William. Yeah, yeah, and I think Mama is your favorite. Mama, your favorite. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Mama, I do not go to Umpro. So I feel they also happy. They have been for months. They will be dinner. Uba home again. Um, to Mama, na Omani Aji. I think it's because of that. How do you get your songs? Uh, actually, the lyrics that I say, and I say verses now, we preach on my on my music. You know, eighty percent about my. You said something about preach. Yeah, because I preach, I don't rap. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be preaching about my life and witnessing other other kind of life people live. Mm -hmm. And I put it into craft or into music. So, yeah. I was mm -hmm. just about to come there. What, what inspires your songwriting? It's all Troy Mumwa. At the end, it inspires what my Troy is. Personal experience. I said, go for one and I said, you who know, and I'm out of Troy Mumwa. 80% is my personal experience. Wow. Um, the 20% is. It's your teacher, your teacher, what you want to do, 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 what you want to do. I mean, I guess you go. What you want to do. 20% to me, or man for story, I mean, who I'm making. It's a little bit. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. I see. Yeah. I see. Um, so, outro, one can sound outro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you compose your songs yeah, as well. Yeah. Wow. Who could sing on me? What kind music school? No, I'm in cool music school. I think I'm in a chair of music. Well. <laughs> The road to the jungle. And you be also air track two. And you may be a catafo party. A phone a catafo. Catafo is a night. I'll share around my catafo. Or when we are catani. Very good. 100% catani. If I try to catafo party, bruh. party, bruh. Yeah, by the way, all the songs on his album.